you are a we met through the better life tribe is that right uh so in the war room oh war room okay yeah dope i never know yeah you put out the that link uh, well i don't know what when it was but put in my scheduled uh, a call so yeah uh well very happy to meet you how long have you been in war hey, room? Man. Uh, I want to say maybe December 22, January 23, somewhere. In so just over a year. Just over a year. Well, how can I help? Uh, well, I mean, I just, uh, like, I, like I mentioned, I saw the posts um, you put out there. Um, so I just wanted to connect and just see more, but learn more about you. And um, I know you were part of the podcast, part of the partnership or whatever with Dave. So. Yeah, I've known Dave a long time. Yeah, no long Dave a long don't know Dave a long time. I'd love to still do his podcast. I'd love to still co-host it, but uh, I live in Hawaii and he lives in Missouri for some reason. And time zones are brutal to to do like you know a standing Wednesday. I have a you know a pretty demanding gig out here, and you know <clears throat> for him. Noon is like 5 a.m. my time, which would be okay, but it just became difficult. But yeah, yeah. Are you uh, are you are you still doing yeah. like uh, the real estate investing, or are you just mainly tied up with Brandon and the the better life? Uh, no, I still do a lot of real estate investing. Well, no, that's not true. I haven't done much for the last year because, yeah, I mean, I helped Brandon build this big project and try to invest. I mean. Not to say you can't invest long distance, but trying to invest long distance is harder than investing where you where you're local and trying to do it in 2021 and 2022 and 2023 is harder than it was. I bought a lot of houses long distance in 2016 and 17 and 18, but it just you know, deals are much less frequent and much skinnier, so you really got to in my opinion like be on it you really got to be involved to um yeah know what a deal is and what a deal isn't so being farther away just makes that a little bit makes that quite a bit harder and i'm again i'm focused on this project so uh i haven't been focused on real estate but i really want to turn that around and then last two months ago i partnered with some folks in on a deal in maryland a big uh Luxury wedding venue. Where in Maryland? Chesapeake City. Very familiar. Is that like near DC area or about two hours, hour and forty five minutes drive from DC? Yeah. Uh yeah. I was in DC with some friends. Is that where you live? No, I uh well my my wife is from like Virginia uh area. So I've been up there a couple times. My brother in law lives up there now. In that area, so I'm actually gonna go. Gotcha. See him in a uh, no, months, this is so. on the island side, I guess, or the peninsula side. Um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, ask too. Like, uh, do you know anybody specifically in assisted living, like who's investing in that? Yeah, but I can't think of who. But it's not a uh... yeah. Shoot, somebody on this show or the show this this thing that I do was uh was on does assisted living. I can't remember who it was. Shoot. This is why I need to get this CRM up. I need to get these these tags up. Yeah. Uh I don't know. But so one of the things I want yeah. to do is I have the I do this this call talk, talking to strangers. Yeah. I do this call and I I do it probably in a perfect world I would do it eight times a week. I would have eight calls a week. But and and like this week I have twelve. But it's ever it's not super consistent. Um, but in a perfect world, what I'm trying to get to is when I get my systems down a little bit better, and they're getting there, and the CRM comes through. I want to start private chats that I invite everybody to. And then you're like, okay, well, I don't really care, Alex. I'm like, okay, I don't care either. You're in a war room, whatever. But in a per but what would happen is I could go into a place where just the people who have like in my world, because I'm a super connector, but I have a terrible fucking memory. And so what I'd love to do is go into a place and just be like, who's in assisted living? And just like find those people. Cause I know, I don't still remember, but yeah, I'll, if I think of somebody, I'll, uh, I'll reach out to you. Yeah. What was, um, well, I guess like with the uh, talking with the strangers, is this just mainly just 
connecting with people and kind of just seeing like how you all can mutually help each other out with that or dude i don't you know what it's so organic i have no goal for it it's just one of those things where i i find that if i put myself one i love it so if i find if i just say hey look this is very very organic for me to just have a very a conversation with a stranger especially in a world where you know everybody's like a, either a perfect friend or a mortal enemy uh so i'm like i just talk to anybody you know and i find that people need it people i think on whole on average are lonely isolated and in search of something they don't know how to articulate and so i'm just a super people person and i love people and i just so i just say hey i'm gonna put myself out there and because i'm a connector generally if somebody asks me a question like you ask like hey do you know who that does this i'm like yeah in this particular instance i'm at a loss for names but like that's why on the back end over here on my screen here, I'm building out this giant CRM because I just such a connector, but it's such, it's all here. And so I'm trying to get it out of here and onto a, you know, into yeah. a data sheet that I'm like, oh, okay. So I put my little notes in the assisted living. Like, I don't know, but this goal is more like, or this thing is more like, I don't know. It just feels healthy. It feels like people always enjoy it. I've been doing it for five years um, and I want to do more of it. So. Yeah, I don't know. Just trying to. I'm here to serve. I don't have any goals. Yeah, no, I think it was pretty interesting. Hey, yeah, just give give me a call or whatever. I said time. Yeah, yeah. If I can help, I can help. If I can't, I don't know. It's good to meet you. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't need anything from people, so I just give. I just give up my time. I think it's uh, in a world where like people they pay for all your information. You got to pay for access, and you know I do think it's smart to pay, like Better Life or War Room, where you pay for access to people. Like, I think it's wise, but also. I don't know. Not that many people give up their time for free, and I think time is a very honorable thing to give up. What's uh like? I don't, I'm not sure. Like, what, when did you, I know you were in the army, right? Yeah. Was it army? Yep. A um, long time ago. Okay. What's uh, what do you, what's your kind of like advice as far as because I'm I'm in currently still active duty military, uh, Navy. I'll be retiring in in June next year. Did you like start investing while you were you while you were still in, or like how did you? Bounce I got that? out and then spent the next eight years drunk and on drugs before I got my life together. So uh, I do not have any good transit transition advice for you. Uh, I can tell you what not to do. Uh, I think the thing that the military gets knocks people out of is in a lot of ways it knocks out our creativity because you're told to. Yeah, that's true be a certain you know be at a certain place wear a certain uniform at a certain time behave in a certain way follow a very strict set of rules you're very indoctrinated with one culture right like yeah you don't hang out with that many civilians my guess is and even if you do it's on the nights and weekends like during the day it's all military folks and they all follow one strict culture and they have one strict sort of career path and then you do that to somebody for 22 years or 20 years and it takes time, I think, for people to realize like what's available to them and that, A, they can have it or they can create it. And B, if you want that, you have to create it. There is no structure like the military for entrepreneurship. It does not exist. There is no path. There's no predetermined path for like, here's what you do. It's like, you're the only one that's going to figure it out. You're the only one that's going to create it. Um, nobody's going to help. Like, I don't say nobody will help you. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to create that system for you. And nobody's going to get in your way. And nobody's going to motivate you if you don't do it. So it's, it's a, like a, it's a, if you could get, if you could wrap your head around like what it is you want to do outside of, you know, social or military or like cultural influence. Like, how do you pronounce your first name? Raiden. Oh, red. Red. What does Red want to do with this? Red. What does Red want to do with the like? I say it like I say it this way very specifically. Like, you're gonna die soon. What do you want to do with the rest of the year years left on this earth? And if you think about it, if I think about it that way, it's like, well, you can do anything with that time. And you can't do everything, but you can do anything with that time. And so the more you think about that, like in a creative standpoint, some people just want to start businesses and like, if that's all you want to do, or I shouldn't say it that way, if that's what you want to do, then like, that's wonderful. I thought that's what 
I wanted to do when I started business. And then I found out about photography and I'm like, oh, something else is here that I'm destined, designed, supposed to do, whatever you, however you frame it. But like, so I don't know if that's helpful other than like try to get your mind around. You can't do anything. I don't know what that is. It's like the, what is that? Memento more. That saying, Latin saying, someday you're going to die. So you got to figure out fast or figure out, you know, it's kind of like a humbling thing. But yeah, like, you that's will... true with, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, my dad passed a few years ago at 60, 62. Like I'm 40, you know, like it's going to come soon. So if you end up doing something that somebody else wants you to do, it's not going to be a fun experience. So that's all I try to tell people is, or, or that's, that's all I'm trying to express. Like the military has you, has everybody like structured and yeah, you can follow that structure and be a good soldier and like be a good, you know, a civilian afterwards. And that's all perfectly. That's great. But if you are designed for something else, man, it's, you definitely have to, you have to believe it here first. Yeah. What do you want yeah, to do? I kind of, well, I've kind of, kind of like in that transition right now. Uh, I've been coaching since 2019, mainly with like fitness and nutrition, but now I'm moving towards more, more of a personal development and leadership uh, coaching. So that's kind of what I'm trying to work on before, I, you know, I retire in about a year and a half. Um, I'm trying to build that up. Um, I mean, I, I want, I still want to invest in real estate, but that's kind of more so like my, uh, I guess the feel to my, my passion in, in, in coaching and helping others. There's a lot of coaches in the civilian world. There's a lot of coaches. I'm sure you know. Differentiators are tough. I know at least three guys that are all basically coaches that are, have not been wildly successful at business. They're basically therapists without the, without the like doctorate, right? Without any, without any, uh, like credentials. Degree. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't pay any of them, even though they're always, they're all looking for business all the time. So I think being in the military 20 years, what, what are you, you an officer? No, a senior enlisted E7. Okay. Love that. I mean, I think that's a good differentiator. I think if you're going to go to the, I don't know what world you're going to go to, but if you're going to go to the business world and you don't have business success, that makes it very hard just because everybody's yeah. going to ask you the same question. Like, why are you teaching me something you haven't been able to do? But if you yeah. go that leadership route, like that military route, that might be a little bit different, you know, but what do I know? I'm just like, yeah, there's a lot of people that are, de that are designed to be coaches and like, you know, if that's your path, then it's just a matter of, you know, sales and the performance. Yeah. And then results. Yeah, I kind of have like a small little uh, group right now. So I'm kind of like, my thing is just like with, with dads. So kind of like trying to help my, my former self, who, who I was before, right? So like what they tell you. Um, so I have like a small, you know, Facebook group of just dads who are like looking for more as far as uh, you know, personal development, personal growth. And then also who are looking to... Uh, uh, to kind of just more than just their W two, sure. Yeah, so just real estate or personal finance or things like that. Yeah, if you're starting now, that's a good bet. If you're getting out, because yeah, everything you can start now. I mean, everything compounds. Well, I've actually learned that that's not true. Nothing, nothing compounds automatically. But if you can, um, start now, find out what works, scale, outsource, rinse and repeat. How have you, um, I guess, like, what's your process as far as creating content or, um, Oh, I don't, I don't create like... that much content. Yeah. Nope. I don't do much content. I, uh, I create content for individuals. Like I'm not a content creator really, but I'll create brand, uh, brand media photos. Like, you know, I shoot the bigger pockets conference. I don't really create, I don't know if I call that content creation. It's, you know, I make my art and I give it to them. And then I'll create media for either individuals or people like investors who are working on big projects and I'll create media for them, for their audiences or, you know, for their investors or for their websites, whatever. But 
I, I should create more content. I just, um, I don't know. I, I, this is me creating content. You know what I mean? I like yeah, talking to people one-on-one. On one. Yeah, I like talking to people one-on-one. On one. I don't really, I don't like talking to a camera. And I like making things with my camera and publishing that. But right now the internet's like, you know, talk to me. Everybody's, you know, talk at the camera. And I just, I don't like talking to a camera that much. Yeah, that's kind of weird talking to yourself when you're, like, there's no one around or no face in front of you. <laughs> you're just talking to a black, black, black box, black screen. So I, yeah. I envy the people that are good at it, but it is not me. What's the, what's next after I, or do you plan on staying where you're at for a while or? Uh, no, we moved to Austin. Where do you live? Oh, I've been saying it until you right now. All right. When do you um, plan on moving? April 1st. Oh, okay. A couple months. Yep, not far. Uh, we'll leave here April 1st. We'll probably get there early May to Austin. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I need to be around people, bro. I'm a hyper extrovert. I need to be around. I want to be in the city. So, so we're going to, we'll get there. I'll, I'll go to every in, meetup. That... I was going to say, I'll be in Austin in May, like that first week of May. There's a, there's an event I'm going to. In, you in go May. Bundus guy? Yeah, the Emerge. Go Bundus Emerge. Oh, oh, part of that, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll be, I want to go to it. I don't know if I'll go to that because uh, Better Life is having a thing on the 3rd of May. Uh, and I think I'm going to go to that in Denver. Maybe not. I don't know yet. Uh, but yeah, but my goal is to get back, is to do, start doing more real estate. And so I know that if I want to do more real estate, I got to talk to more people. And if I got to talk to more people, they're not on freaking Maui. Yeah. Not everybody can, I guess, has the bandwidth to invest there. Well, nobody invests here, but even just living here, there's not that many people. It's a small yeah. little town. But yeah, man. Yeah, well, I guess whenever you come down, um, I mean, Austin's like just an hour away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. I know. I got this on my list. I'm making a, I'm, make, I'm making a, I'm making a, Austin, I'm making Austin and making Texas lists. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few actually in the war room here. A couple of the. And a couple of females that are in the mastermind that's here. So, do you guys do a meetup? No, there's uh, there's the other group, uh, ADPI that they have like a monthly meetup, but I oh, haven't really gone uh, to. Are you part of them too? Since... No, no, I I went to one a lot when I first got here, and then I I decided to go to another one after. Yeah, that's a different vibe that that group. Yeah. That's probably the well, reason why. It's... Yeah. Well, I'll be doing meetups in Austin. For sure. When I get there. Yeah, man. Well, I'll definitely have to come out more often. Then. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, it'll probably take me a few months, but actually I'm building a, I'm building it with my buddy. Uh, well, that's not true. Tyler's building all of it. Um, he's building out a whole CRM funnel mechanism backend for specifically for like running a meetup, including like paid ad. SOPs and everything like that. So we're gonna, as he's building out for DC, we're gonna deploy it here in uh, in Texas once I get there. Is that gonna be part of the war room thing or? No, nope. It's just like a, nope. your own thing. Yeah, yeah, and not or and yeah. No, the war room's all yeah. Dave's, and you know he's gonna keep it that way, and that's that's perfectly fine. But I like people outside of the war room. I love the guys in the war room, but I also I. Is I want to I do things, you know, as big as possible. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, yeah. I'm not sure any, any other questions? So, I don't want. I, you might have another call or anything. So, uh, I got a call in yeah another five minutes. But dude, yeah, I mean, no agenda. I don't. You know, yeah. you don't have to have anything to talk about. So sometimes just good to meet a face and know who's around. And I got, I got some stuff listed for you. To, uh, definitely reach out to you. I'll definitely reach out to you when I get to Texas. Yeah. And assisted sure. living, I'll keep it on the top of my head. Somebody will come to mind, and I'll send I'll send you an email. Yeah, for sure, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I appreciate you. All right, look forward to uh, seeing you soon. All right, buddy, be well.